Oh, hey, folks. Welcome to Cooking with Bob. What's on the menu tonight, Bob? I'll let you know. Little beef ribeye never hurt nobody. Am I wrong? You want to talk marbleization? Get a look at this. That's a well-fed cow. That's a good-looking cow that Bobby's about to eat right now. No disrespect to you vegans out there, but hey, come on. Who wouldn't love this? Probably wondering, oh, geez, Bob. Are those pink countertops? Yeah, indeed they are. Some of LA's finest right there. Get a look at this pink marble here. Get a look at this oven. This was actually built, believe it or not, in the middle of the Civil War. When was the Civil War? 19... Anywho, moving right along here. What are we doing for a side? I'll tell you what we're doing side. We keep it easy here in Bob's kitchen. If you know Bob, you know he's a Caesar guy all day long. I'll take that all day long. Trader Joe's Caesar salad. Open it, mix it, it's as easy as that. Don't get cute with it. No need to chop your own salad. This isn't Morton's Steakhouse. Just to take you through my fridge here, this is C4 Energy. If you haven't had it, don't have it. You'll be bouncing around these walls like you wouldn't believe. Just be pinballing through your living room. How about the black skillet? Just gonna let that thing rock and roll. Sizzle and drizzle. Speaking of drizzle, we're gonna put a little olive oil on that. As soon as I can get my finger out of there. A lot going on here, but that's okay. We've been here before. That's the thing with the kitchen. Even if you don't do it often, act like you've been there before. It's just gonna mentally taste better. People will kind of be looking in the kitchen like, wow, that's a guy who knows what he's doing. You have no idea what you're doing. Does a guy who eats peanut butter puffins have any idea what he's doing? Probably not, but you know what? It was the only cereal they had. Trader Joe's didn't feel like going to a more domestic supermarket like Ralph's, so fuck it. Cinnamon Crunch Squares, not thrilled with these, thought they'd be a little bit better. Stick with Cinnamon Toast Crunch from that spectrum, but hey, who really gives a shit? What are we doing here? We're cooking steak here. Gonna have to open the blinds because it's gonna get steamy as a motherfucker in here. Moving and grooving over here. Gonna get this window nice and open. Who wants a glass of vino? Who wants a glass of vino? Um, yes, Mr. Burger. Um, I would. Mr. Sanchez. Please, one glass of vino. White or red, Baba, I'll take white. Thanks for asking. Moving right along here. Cast iron is humming to me right now. Hey, Bob, let me cook something. Let me cook something. Don't you worry, pal. We'll be right with you. A little vino for the guy. Never hurt nobody. You're probably wondering why I'm sweating. I'll tell you why I'm sweating. If you head right over here, gonna take my Chardonnay, if you don't mind. Folks, it's 82 degrees. That's 82 degrees up in this bitch right now with cooking with Bob. Chugga wugga wugga chugga 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 whoa whoa I'm not the only one who's drunk it looks like the iPhone 11 is as well chugga wugga wugga chugga wugga 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 chugga wugga 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 folks you having fun I know I am salute all right folks we're actually going with a little onion salt for this bad boy here some of you are gonna go oh Rob what about salt and pepper no Trader Joe's onion salt Gets the job done. You could put that in your cereal. It's so versatile. Gonna slap that little stick of meat right here in any good state. Starts with a little bit of a love tap. Just get to know it. Hey, I'm Rob. Welcome to the big show. Let's have a day, okay? Right man, right spot. Go ahead, have some fun on that skillet. I hope you guys are having fun. I really do. If you don't like it, I'm sorry. If you do like it, subscribe. Click that subscribe button. Like, subscribe, support the movement. I'm out here getting it. I'm out here grinding. Support your local chef. Little bit of olive oil on this sucker. Get to know the steak, okay? Touch it around a little bit. Get that marbleization. Nothing wrong with a little bit of fat. Don't steak shame. We don't do that here. We'll keep that fat right on there. Don't you worry, buddy. Want to grab a little bit of my wine? That's probably not good for sanitation between the, the cold the meat and the vino. Fuck it. Little thing we like to call onion salt. Introduced that to you guys about two minutes ago. Just sizzling and drizzling. Little onion salt never hurt nobody. Would you like some crushed black pepper, sir? Uh, yeah, I would. Thank you, server. Absolutely. Come with me on this journey right here. Porterhouse. In. Get to know it. Happen. You're gonna be okay, buddy. You're gonna be okay, buddy. If anybody wants to see how we're really, you know, you really show that you know what you're doing, keep one of these kitchen towels with you at all time and just, just wipe your hands. Put it around over your shoulder. 
You may have no idea why it's there. I don't. I probably got skillet grease on me, but it just shows people that you know what you're doing, so just keep the towel up there. Get a look at these noodle golf balls right here, huh? Come here. Every mom and dad out there want their daughter to be with the guy that keeps a noodle golf ball long and soft in their kitchen. That's what I do. Can I get a couple tongs? Can I get a couple tongs? Son of a bitch. Let's check our steak now. Okay, a little bit more to go. Never doubt the 1907 oven. Look at the engine on this sucker. Just ready for war at all times because it's been through a couple wars. Get a look at this. Oh, my lanta. You talk about an antique of an oven. Oh, yeah, how long should I put yeast bread in for? Not sure who's still cooking yeast bread, but hey, you never know. Who am I to judge? Angel food, cornbread, 425. Cookies rolled 375. Drop a couple 375. 12 to 15. Raw fruit out of control. Good news is all I got to do now is toss my salad. Keep your mind out of the gutter there. Look, I want to give you guys a finish to the episode, show you how it turned out. But when I see the first bead of sweat, I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> Here's your salad right here. Here's your wine. I'm done. I'll worry about my steak. You worry about yours. See you next time.